Well, a new weekly talk show is about to change the way the world of football is covered. Yeah, the program is hosted by comedian Ed Cavalier and English football expert Max Rushton. They deep dive into the best of European soccer while having a whole lot of fun along the way. And we're pleased to say we're joined by the team now. First to you, Ed. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, how are you? Oh, it's um, always a pleasure. Hello. No, Max. Hey, good to see you both, guys. Uh, it's great to be here. And I'd like to introduce you yes. uh, to my good friend, Max. Um, he's from the UK. He hosts uh, the most popular football podcast in the world that's not about <laughs> true crime like everything else. And he, and, and he claims that he looks like Ben Affleck. You can be the judge. Well, I mean, the key here is that it's a movie where Ben Affleck has some sort of de degenerative disease. That's the movie where <laughs> I look most like Ben Affleck. Um, I have a question. I have a question for Carl and yes. Ali, which mm. is, um, I'm I'm a sort of ruthlessly ambitious man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I Ed has told me that he's some kind of big deal. Yes. In Australia, and I'm sort of I'm sort of clinging hold of his coattails until I find some better coattails to cling on to. Yes. Have I? You know, am I following the right guy or should I jump ship straight away? Jump. I'm quite I personable. Think he's put all his eggs in the wrong basket. Do you think? Oh, oh, just, yeah. no, Cowley, please. <laughs> he's using me to get to Dave Hughes, and that's not where you want to end up. Trust me. Wow. Trust me. <laughs> On entirely the wrong path. No. I can immediately see why this works. Yeah. Well, you, you say you say you can see what you don't know yet. I mean, I've got the running order for the show. I was told on Australian television that you have to buy your own whiteboard from Office Works. So this is all. <laughs> do you not have to do this for the Today Show, or does Nine give more resources to the Today Show than, than us? I don't understand. We don't have much on the show yet today. No, it's it's it, still it's, clear, guys. And I can tell yeah. you, though, I tell you, guys, I know that that Stan Sport, of course, has a lot to do with Channel Nine, and people are asking, people, is it lucrative? Is it lucrative? I can tell you now, Ali and Carl, Daryl McGuire Wire has pumped in six million dollars to stand for, oh. for our show. Wow. Mm. And we've spent it all Ooh, that's on... Only, that's near the edge there. we spent it all which on edge? one it's marker <laughs> pen, which is like, it's really important that... It's a magnetic marker pen that stick. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere on the Pacific Highway. If you, if you know where it is, you can drop it off to flat 361, uh, 245 Pacific Highway. That would be good. Uh, yeah, look, it's a new show. We're very excited about it. Um, I think changing the way football is viewed is perhaps mm. a stretch. I appreciate how you introduced oh. us. Um, I'm sort of teaching Ed a bit about, you know, how the beautiful game works. But we're very open to ideas. I heard you, Carl, talking about, you know, your lack of interest in... in tantric activities and I sort of share like when's dinner I understand that like, <laughs> but if it gets if it gets more subscribers to Stan then we'll, we're going to have to try everything once aren't we Oh, hey, Stan I boy. Mean, you can never say oh, never no, I guess I thought you were talking about Carl Carl's eight past Carl's tantric journey coming soon to Stan <laughs> I like it good yes. you get a free seven day trial and for the whole yes. seven days it's just Carl that's all it is seven, seven days. days solid he's really good at it seven days is a bit of a story. we can call it seven days <laughs> Solid. That sounds nice. I mean, if, it was, if it was Christian Ronaldo, you know. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Maybe if it was Ronaldo, you're right. Fair enough too. Look, it's come at a good time. I mean, mm. th there's so much great soccer uh, on stand at the moment. Yep. Um, you know, we've got Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously. I mean, it's great. And also this morning, it's not got anything to do with Europe, but Australia also just won um, their qualifying game. Yes. I mean, it's a great yeah. time for football in this country. I, absolutely right. Uh, uh, Max, would you say, as someone who has left England behind and mm. now calls Australia home and has renounced his English citizenship yeah. so that you can be all in on the Socceroos, would you say <laughs> that Australia and Stan Sport is the only place to be for football coverage now, <laughs> globally? Yes. I think you're probably right. I would say that of all the places where you can consume football, Stan Sport is the only one that is really legitimate anymore. Thank you. I, would, Thank I, think you. That's, I think that's absolutely <laughs> right. And for me, it was really important to leave the UK, A, because that's, you know, exact, because as a football broadcaster, you want to be right where it's happening. And so I wanted to move away from the centre of the football universe <laughs> and, and come here. Um, and also, I was completely... They have this terrible thing, you know, in the in the UK, there was all these terrible... There was, there was freedom. Yeah. You could go out. You could, oh, like, yeah. see your friends. All those things. I hated all those things. You can come here. You don't have to cancel on people. 
you just don't have to see them and all of that is <laughs> all of that is perfect. Max, I, I hope you don't mind. I haven't been listening to a word you've said um, because uh, predominantly I've decided that it's yeah. not Ben Affleck who you look like. Is it Ryan Reynolds? No, Ryan Gosling. Oh, you'll take that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at yeah. You've got it. Hey, which which I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Ali, can you step in here, please? I mean, I know I look like Katie Lang and Beaker had a child. Yeah. But we did. But... Hey, can Ed, you Ed, you married hot, OK? You did, it. You married hot, I did. I did. You can't have Everything. <laughs> All good. I, I, I really like you, Carl. Yeah. Carl, I, Carl, I think we could have oh, a great. Don't you jump ship to Carl. No, don't no, no. You jump ship to Carl. Come Actually, on, big boy. Ed, just to tell you, Ed, <laughs> just to tell you, Ed, I'm in the same building as them, right? Yeah. But they, honestly, I'm seven floors down. Right in a basement somewhere. <laughs> Everyone has left me. If you don't see me, it's a bit like my captors are really looking after me. I just say that. I tell you, what, I've, I'm never getting out of here. Right? Well, you want to talk about captors? I'm at Today FM with Dave Hughes. There's a hostage situation. <laughs> hey, great to talk Need to you guys. Uh, best of luck with the show. New episodes of Two Up Top each Friday on Stan Sport. Fabulous entertainment. Gonna be good. Really good. Thanks.